Zayed here. Welcome back to another interesting episode of interesting episode in rabbit on detailing. Okay, we stopped here in the last class detailing. In the last class, we're trying to detail our foundation. We have something like this. I don't know if it is up to standard or not. All I know, I detailed it. Mashallah. Okay. The next thing to do is, um, I, somebody asked me, not on the comments, but somebody said, how do I create a 3D section? So today I was planning on going into schedule, creating schedules and putting images into my schedule. But let me create 3D, 3D section today and then hopefully tomorrow we will have our schedule. So I will postpone the schedule till tomorrow. Okay, we have this. Let's keep it aside. And then we have this section, which is this one, and then this. We have two sections. Let's keep them aside. Now let's go into our superstructure. This is our building. Nice. Let's have a camera. I don't want it to be this way because if I have my section to be this it kind of cuts out my staircase I don't really like staircase being cut out this way I prefer it to be lateral okay so I will put my camera somewhere here and try as much to make it straight as possible so I am Try and reference it to this grid line, okay? And now click on it. So you see this wall is obstructing me. Forget about the wall. You don't have to bother. Now I have my camera. Here in the properties panel, okay? Go down all the way to here. Hit on this section box. Come back to your destin. Now I want it to be two types. I want it to be a 3D detail and a 3D section. Two types. So to make things easier, let's duplicate this. Duplicate view. Um, as a duplicate with details. Yeah, with details. I think. Now let me just duplicate, simple duplication. A copy is enough for me. Okay. Nice. So we go back to section. Go back to superstructure. Sorry, I said section. That's okay. Go back to your... And now let's see show section box this drag it to the portion you want it to cut let's say here and now bring this one closer a bit and bring the other one closer let's say to this please that should be okay go into your section I have something like this. Now let's go into this one. I will have to create, I will have to change so a few things. So go back to select, go to superstructure, right click, show section box also. Now make it this way. Perfect. Now go to the view. So this is the copy. So I would like this one to be my detailing and this one and the main one to be my section. Okay. And so I have something like this. This is my camera view. I am not supposed to delete my camera view. Just align it to this place.
Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to this please adjust this graphics representation. Cast in shadows and hit and apply. Okay. So here just make it fine in order to have this so you can see I have this section box still there all you have to do right click and then hide in view so you see I don't have my section box that this for this one okay so let's go into you can see it's 3d it's showing me I've written in three dimension but the only way to see my dude here I can correct some few things you can see join this to this wall you see mm, this one to this to this okay so some few things can be adjusted this one labeled this way no problem because it is my supporting color okay so in order to see everything you can see this one is showing me um 2d representation right click on this flow hide in view later on we're going to get it back what is this right click hide in view hide in view so you see I have something like this so you see I have the foundation is like a cut out but a 3d representation of my cut of, of the building okay so this is for this one now let's go to the second one also the same thing change adjust the graphics representation don't cast shadows yet we're going to cast shadows later now I want to hide this guy yeah hide in view and also hide the one behind there hide in view okay so I would like this portion to be detailed now what you have to do is drag this please all the way to here drag the tab portion down to this place and the other portion to this place and now let's see hide in view hide the section box in view Mm, control Z is kind of too small okay and let's see increase this place to be as big as this and now hide this in view I think this should be okay and now Yes. Reduce the crop size of the camera. That's perfect. So I can't really see the, my details within this building. So what I am going to do is I will reduce the translucence. Um, I will say graphics. Just go into VG. the columns and beams columns should be here okay transparency I want it to be 40 should be okay and beams beam 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 wait is beam b it should be b no it should be s structural beam Mm -hmm. 
use a bit structural beam system and let's go into 4D also and hit an OK and hit an apply and now OK so this control Z it's not working what I will do is let me just do it manually select it no just select the two here if I say I'm going to select the one behind it's going to mess up my override graphics by element and now let's see transparency translucence um, okay let's see I have something like this the beam system and the beam here override graphics by element transparency 40 and then hit an ok I can't really see this one because it's an inbuilt within my wall so I can't really see it except if I make my wall a bit translucent which let's say transparent also that is when I can see it okay same thing goes to this guy here you get this one I have no problem with because it's I did not adjust the wall height override graphics by element also make it 40 all right so select all instances in the entire project and now go into visibility I would like the real thickness of my um, view a solid let's see nope select all instances and then the project and now let's see oh sorry this is for this it is number four I'm supposed to check view as a solid And now uh, go to fine and therefore what is wrong? Something is a bit wrong here. Select all instances in the entire project. Visibility. Oop again another mistake. This is detailing, not the other one. It has to be this one. <laughs> Alright. Now here it is. You can see I have something like this this one here is best I adjust the height mm. let's go to section view okay so Let me just leave it this way. Okay, so you can see I have something like this. Oopsie, I think this should be hidden lines. Wonderful. And let's go into shadows. I did not make that place transparent I think okay mm -hmm. now we're talking I only want the place I made transparent because if I have everything shown it will definitely cause a bit of a problem to the scene and hit an apply so you see you have something like this, a very simple yet detailed. You can see we have the flow with separate layers. Uh, our beam, tie beam, crown tie beam. Here is our foundation with some reinforcement. And here is our lintel beam. 
very simple yet precise okay so I'm going to stop here for this video tomorrow I'm going to go into scheduling to see how to make a very proper schedule so follow me up in the next video thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question you can ask me and if you if you like this video please like if you want more videos subscribe hit on the like button hit on the bell button for much more videos thank you very much for watching let's see sometime tomorrow goodbye thank you